is the gun is like this. Wop do wop 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 do wop. It's can cane twist. Wop do wop wop wop. Round and this can cane twist. Round and round, up and down. Round and round, let's say all around. One two round and up and down here. One two three four. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video, another Christmas video. I'm very excited. I want to welcome you to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Thank you for sticking with me. So I'm excited. Today's video is the second part of my amazing washi ped tape. Oh my goodness, so I'm using my two Christmas ones and I am using my amazing holographic Christmas tree mold from Molds and Shapes. So I'm gonna do a base color on these, come back in and make little sceneries on the backs. So one side is gonna be holographic and the other side of the ornament will be an actual little scene. So with that, I'm gonna get this crazy hat off. I bought this a couple years ago and I had to buy it when I seen it because it's just me. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to get my working clothes on and I'll see you guys in a second. If I can find the button. <laughs> Hello. Before we get started with the project, I forgot to mention in my intro how silly am I. Today's video is a um, video for the amazing ped tapes this is my part two video so i just wanted to mention there is a sale still going on until the 26th if you use the link in my description box and the code all cap letters hashtag friday go in get yourself 20 percent off on these amazing amazing so in today's video we are using this one like the christmas ones which I may hop on there and purchase because they have a couple other Christmas ones that I don't have. But they have so many beautiful ones that, like, look at this. These are all of the ones that I have. <clears throat> so, yes, so go in, give it a check, and um, don't forget to use the discount code, all cap letters Friday. So let me get my stuff together, and we're going to get hopping into this video, and you will not be disappointed. I'll see you in a sec, guys. I am back. I have my working clothes on. So this is the mold I'm using. It is an awesome Christmas mold for molds and shapes. It is, I don't know if you can see, it is holographic and I'm excited to use it again. So if you've never cleaned your mold before, if you're new to resin, I'm just going to give you a little show. I just take, this is just my dollar store tape and it picks up everything and every once in a while you can take it up to your kitchen sink and give it a nice bath in a nice warm not scorching hot water but warm water and it will um, give it a nice clean every once in a while because the molds need a clean not just what I'm doing here once in a while so with that my friends so I have chosen to do half of them silver half of them gold because in sherry's little brain i wanted it to be a solid color on the back side you'll pick up that amazing holographic and then on the top side we are going to make some amazing little vignettes or however you want to say it so we could put that little here and then we can put um what does that say? Sparkle all the way, you know, and just make up some little homey little vignettes. So I'll do three of them. And those ones I will do on gold because I think that will be beautiful. And then the other one is the other amazing washi tape, which was the snowman. And that will be on silver because I think it'll pop and we can make so many pretty little things with those. So with that, I am using my um, Let's Resin. This is the original one-to-one -one epoxy resin. So I'm gonna go put this up in my little sink upstairs because it is always chilly in my basement. It's good to um, 
warm up your resin a little bit, but be, be beware that it will um, shorten your curing time. So if you put this in cold not water, not cold water, if you put this in warm water, it's going to take your time away that you have to work with. But it doesn't matter to me because I'm just dumping it in here, so that's fine. And as always, when I wix my resin, I go through this every video, guys, you got to keep yourself safe. I use my respirator, I have my gloves on, and when I come back, I'm going to choose not to wear the respirator, but that's my choice. But please read all your health and safety for every craft you do, not just resin, because a lot of crafts aren't very healthy for you. So with that, I'm going to get my resin and I'll be right back. We are back. I have mixed up, um, my brain's not working. I have mixed up, sorry, four ounces and I am going to just pour what I can in each. So I've divided it into two. So there's two ounces in each cup. I'm going to do some with gold pigment and gold, um, glitter and the other one I was so debating because I have this one it is called snowdrop and I think I might see what it looks like and put some in as the silver because I think that'd be cute with the backdrop of the snowman so let me grab I'm gonna use a popsicle stick guys something a little smaller okay so I'm gonna do this might just be shimmery I don't know we're gonna put it in and see what it oops what it does if it's just clear or if it has a pigment in it it is pretty Laura yeah I'm thinking I may have to put something else in it because I want it to be opaque. Yeah, I can still see my popsicle stick. Um, well, all else fails. Let's put some of my, um, white pigment paste this this one is <laughs> very messy it is the angel white from Larez. and I am just gonna take another popsicle stick give it a stir and I do not need a lot but I want it to be opaque so I'm gonna put that in there and let's see what we got my friends take this one out Give it a stir. Oh, that's better. It's going to look like sparkly snow. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to set that aside and now we're going to work on the gold. Um, actually, let me see if I can. Oh my goodness. I have a gold paste, but it's closed shut on me. So I don't like the way this looks on the back because it always gives a little bit of a, not that I don't like the product. Don't get me wrong. So I'm going to do a scoop of this. This is the, um, um, oh my goodness. Iriton Pigmente per Artiste Pale Gold. I'm reading it in a different language and I apologize. And I want it to be, again, opaque. So I'm doing a half a, oh my goodness, a, a good half a teaspoon or whatever that little spoon is. And then because it's me, we're going to do this together, I, and I don't have a label on this. I'm thinking this is the, oh, here, let's do this, the Olympic gold holographic, and we'll put that in the background 
and I'm just going to do the the oh my gosh little size and give it a shake. Oh my goodness, there's nothing left in it. That's funny. It's all stuck to the side, but there is a little in there. Let me grab another stick and then Like this is beautiful, but when it on the back side, it kind of comes across a little different. Like it'll look like this. I might just find some more black, some more black, some more glitter. So we're gonna use this one. And again, I don't know the name, Laura. I'm sorry. I've moved them and have not put labels on them. It again, it's it's a holographic. It might be the same. To me, it looks. It might be the same. Because we have to have a little glitter. And little, I mean, as a joke, correct? <laughs> There's never such a thing as a little bit of glitter. All right, I'm going to wipe that off my little stir stick. These ones, oh, it's already cleaned. I already cleaned it off. I was one step ahead of myself. I'm going to wipe these off because we can reuse that. And I just wanted to wipe this board off. I love using these. These are dollar store cutting boards. And I love using this is a, a rack that fits into your shelf, into your cupboard to um, put your cupboard into two different uh, sizes. So I love using this. As you can see, this is the original. I've been using this one for about five years. I used to put my, um, my paintings on it. So with that, we'll put that here. I've got my clean mold. We'll put that here. And we're just going to try and divide this, guys. Oh, I see something in that one. Let me just get some more tape. We'll do another quick little clean. And get that there. Perfect. And then it sticks to everything. All right, so let's divide this white into three. And let's go. And it's just a base coat. I just want enough because we're going to do a layer on top of a clear coat. I think this one might need more. Because I'm going to put a clear coat on top to seal in our stickers. Our pad tapes. Our washi tapes, whichever way you want to call it. I'm going to get it all out. And I'm going to use a spatula, even though this is a paint, <laughs> a silicone paintbrush, just to bring it all to the edges. Do not put anything in your molds, guys, that's going to scratch them, because that would be horrible, especially if they're expensive molds. That, and then we'll get the gold in here. Oh yeah, this is going to be a beautiful backdrop. And a lot of times you just need to start your resin and it'll flow in. Once it's started, it'll flow into where you want it to go. There we go. And this guy. <laughs> and while I'm doing this video, today is um, American Thanksgiving. So I just wanted to wish my fellow Americans a very Happy Thanksgiving. We had ours last month. So with that, there we go. I'm going to give this a wipe off just with using a wipe. 
and let's get the gold in there. Look at that. And here we go. We'll start on this way, I guess. There we go. Got to get every last little bit out of these cups. And I usually like using my silicone cups because I hate wasting. And they're all dirty, guys, and I apologize. All right, let's get this in here and we will do the same and then I'm gonna let this cure overnight and then we will come back and I'm gonna pre-cut my washi ped tape sorry so that I'm not wasting your time but I'll show you I have a couple of rotary little cutting pens that I had from wish even though it's not Wish, it would be <laughs> Timu. Um, so I'm going to dig all those out and see if I can get them to work with the pet tapes. Do you see what I mean? Because this is how it's going to leave it on this side. It'll be not an even coloring. And you never know with me, I might decide to put the snowman on the gold one. <laughs> Depends on if they'll show up. Whoops, we have a little bit of a cat here. If they'll show up on the um, the white. I'm hoping they will. And then once this is done, I'm going to give it a quick little torch with my little wee torch. And please do not go crazy with a torch with your uh, mold, especially the expensive ones, guys when you spend a lot of money on them and they're really nice quality you don't want to ruin them all right so i'm going to do my little wee torch guy here i got this at the dollar a dollar store here in my little local town and there we go I think it was $7.99, $8.99, but this is actually really good. I still have my big, oh my gosh size, but you don't want it to be, um, well, it looks pretty level. You don't want it to be uh, too powerful because you will ruin your mold. So now I'm going to come back with my 99% alcohol. Do not do this the other way. Do not put this down and then use this because you will have a fire. Pretty sure I have that in one of my videos. <laughs> so here we go, we're gonna give it a couple spurts. Get rid of all those nasty little, here I'm gonna give one, there we go. One good one, there we go. I'm gonna cover mine with a little bit of a tent. I get these at the dollar store. It is for your food in the summer and I just, Put that on because I'm in my basement. I get a lot of dust. And as you've seen, some cat hairs. So there you go. I'm going to leave that for 24 hours. And I will be back. And we'll put some beautiful washi pet tapes on there. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, I am back. These are all, dr I was going to say dry, all cured. And I think they turned out amazing. So what I have done off camera is I have taken my pet tapes and I've just kind of cut out a vignette that I think would be beautiful. And especially for the family, like this one, it was pretty easy. It was just like, cut the fireplace out and here it is. So that's all I'm doing for those ones. Now the snowman one, I had a little bit, I didn't know what to put on there. I didn't really want words because I thought it would be pretty without them. So I went through and I literally cut. <laughs> 
like I've got all kinds of little bits and pieces. So I cut around everything. So these are two little guys having a little fun. So I'm going to place him down first and then put him on top. And the good thing with these is you can layer them because there's clear behind them. And then there's these two little guys. We've got the snowman and we're going to put the little hedgehog, put them together like that so that they're on there. And then this one, we're going to make a little family. Got this little guy. And then there was, I think, a mailbox here, but I cut it out. And we're going to put this here so it looks like a little family around the tree. So the fun begins. I'm going to try with these simple ones. I've been getting people telling me to put tape on both sides and pull it apart. I'm going to give it a try. I haven't tried it yet. Give it a try on camera and see if it works. Yeah, no. All right, we're just going to get my little bit of a uh, tweezers. Okay, I'm going to put you on pause, guys. So I have this. This is a pen with actually, it is an X Acto knife in it. Oh, wrong way. Oh, where are you? There you go. Sorry. My little flippy thing is upside down. So, yeah, so it has a blade in it. So be very careful. These are from Timu. I'm going to go on the back side and see if I can attempt to pull this off. ridiculous guys and with these nails on I can't do anything I don't want to ruin that let me see if I could go on it this side as opposed to the back side oh I think I think Try the tape again. Oh, the tape worked this time. Why did it not work the first time? All right, here we go. So we have one. I'm going to try and center it with that. And I'm just eyeballing things, guys. Be very careful because once you put it on, it is on. Perfect. I got a little bit of a ripple in the tree. My heat of the hand. <laughs> there, it's gone. Perfect. Let's try that with this one now. See, that didn't work. That is so weird. You must have to have... Oh, there we go. We have ignition that goes off and then we're going to center it again. I don't know what that is, I got something in there. There we go. And then try to perfect. And one more. This pen is a cool thing. I haven't really used it. I tried to <clears throat> tried to use it to cut out the washi pad tape. Sorry, I keep saying washi, the pad tapes. But it just kind of made it all buckle up. So it didn't work for that. And there we go. No, let's see if I can lift it. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Got it. 
I was able to lift it. There's a big wrinkle in this one. So you want to lay it down if you have a cricket. <laughs> Same idea. Perfect. Awesome. Now let's see about these guys. We're going to start here first. We'll put the tree down. This one might be a little different because I'm layering. Oh, see, now that didn't work, but now if I put the tape on, it'll work. Perfect. You just got to get a little corner going. And with my hands the way they are, it doesn't help. So I'm going to try to bring it way over. I know it's off-centered, but you want to make sure it's level. Bring up our tree. Perfect. And then, where did our little family go? Over here. Like, where is it? I know it's there. Okay, and the same idea. Perfect. And we're going to place him right about there. Perfect. Have a little family time. And then this guy. So we're going to put this up here. So we're going to put this guy down first. And Whoop. perfect. And I want to line the tree off a little, but like that. Little hedgehogs are cute. And this guy. There we go. Ah, not stick to my nail. And actually, we can kind of place him down a little bit. Something on there. There we go. Perfect. And then these guys. So we're going to place the skater down first because he's got all of that. And then we'll put him on top. So I'm going to put the skater as far over to this side as I can. Actually, let's go on this end so that if I goof, it don't really much matter on that side. There we go. As close as I can to the edge. Come on. Oh my goodness, there's a big ring. Oh, and that's the other thing. Be mindful, you don't want to pull up the mold either. <laughs> you want to make sure the molds have a seal in because we're putting a top coat on. And it wouldn't normally matter, but oh, come on. I guess he's going there. It normally wouldn't matter, but because we have, um, that one's got a lot of bubbles, but this guy's covering it pretty much, so that's good. We'll put him up a little bit like that. There. Um, because we have the holographic on the back side, so you don't want to play around too much because once you've got your um, mold, you can't do a top coat on a holographic because it will lose your holographic. Let's see if the tape will work. Just trying to get this. There we go. 
that up. And maybe we can put him up a little bit. Kind of like that. And I'm just kind of varnishing as I'm going. There we go. Perfect. I think they turned out sweet. Let's give you a look. Look at that. I think they're cute. Oh, there we go. My apologies, guys. The camera is a little off. Here, let me bring it this way. There. Adorable. I think they're going to be cute. And then the... There you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, warm up my resin again and we will put a top coat on this and I'm excited to see how it turns out. Okay, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Hello, I am back. So I have mixed up another four ounces of the same resin, the two-part epoxy from Let's Resin. I used my respirator when I mixed and again, I'm choosing not to wear it, but Please be safe with yours. I am um, I'm excited because I've never used this. I got this from an amazing subscriber, Patricia. It is an iridescent glitter with no color. So I thought I would put a faint amount in the one for the snowman. And then I have Laura's amazing. This is the opulence gold. I thought I would put a faint amount in it to put over top the other one. Oh, let's see if I can do a faint amount. <laughs> Hopefully I can. I'm just going to get the smallest spoon that I own. And I'm going to grab a couple stir sticks because I want to find my big ones are just a bit big for these little wee cups. So I'm going to open up this bag. And you go, oh. <laughs> joking all right I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that you see how much that is that is not much at all and I'm and I'm actually gonna do half that because I'm afraid I don't want to over do it I just want a little something something and I think that is a little something something so you've seen how little I put in there I don't want anything that goes overpowering and again, thank you, Pat, Patricia. All right. And then Laura's little, ah. and this is, this is gorgeous. This is just like crazy. And it's a powder. This is a glitter powder. And I'm gonna do the same like that. Didn't even put a little. <laughs> and again, it's more on my stick, but there's a faint amount. Let me put on this side. There's a, well, maybe not. You can see it in there. Oh, and I see a hair in there. Oh. Got it. Got it. Okay. So with that, I'm going to put the lid on here. And I'm going to leave these two little things out so I remember to tell you. I'm going to step this down. I'm going to put my spoon back. I try to clean up after every time, but it doesn't always work, my friends. All right. The test. The true test. All right, since I just mixed that, let's go with the gold on the top. We're in there. You're all in there. Okay. Oh, yeah, see, that gives it just a little faint hint. Of a glitter in there. Let me get, whoops, another stick because I threw that one out. And I'm going to try to which one I may have to come in with a little more we're gonna let that level out and we'll give this one more little mixy you know sit 
this aside. I'm actually, I'll just put it in my other hand. And here we go. I love it. It just gives it that little extra something. Just trying to make sure I, I get up in that. There. Oh, that is perfect. That is just the little umph I wanted, Pat. Thank you very much. And I can't believe it's the first time I've used it. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna get rid of this. And I'm gonna bring out one of my little spatula tools to bring it to the edge. Actually, maybe I'll give it a quick torch first. Warm it up. Be mindful if there's little spots that you literally don't burn the malt or burn your <laughs> stickers. All right, here, let's get in here. And it's not quite filled up to the top. And you know what? I am not mad about it. As long as it gets a coat. I'm just going to get up into the, there, I'm going to wipe, whoop, wipe this off so I don't mix some gold glitter into the bottom. Oh man, that, I love the snowman. I wasn't sure about the white on white, but it actually is pretty cool. Now that I've put that little hint of that glitter in there. Perfect. It looks like the snow is glistening. Awesome. I think we are good. I probably could do Let me just look here. I'm seeing that's perfect. I think we're good. So I'm gonna give this a little torch with this and then come back with my 99% alcohol. Please, guys, do not do it the other way around. Because you will have a fire. All right, here we go. 99% alcohol helps burst the bubbles. See all that? I torch, but you see the bubbles? You can see it react. There we go. Oh my goodness. I just, I'm actually, I'm very impressed with that iridescent glitter that um, Patricia sent me. Pretty sweet. All right, I'm going to put my beautiful little tent on top and we're gonna let this sit overnight. And I'll be back in the morning and we will unveil this and go through all of our Christmas um, discounts again with the um, washi tape shop. So I'll be right back, guys. I am back, we are excited. Oh my goodness, so let's pop these peppies out. They look so adorable. Here, let me show you, oh my goodness. 
I love how these turned out. And that little bit of glitter in all of it is amazing. And then on the back side, you get this amazing holographic. I am tempted to maybe do a cold leaf pen around the edge. And these aren't filled up to the top. So there's a little bit of a lip. So I'm gonna come around. Like, look at that. Little shimmer and then bam, holographic on the back. Party in the front, but, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it goes. <laughs> oh, and then this one, stunning. I'm glad I put that little, just like that little hint of that glitter from Laura's in there. That is gorgeous. These guys are adorable. I wasn't sure about the white on the white, but I am impressed that I, I'm glad I put Again, that little bit of glitter, it looks like snow is just falling. You know how that nice fresh snow is shiny? And then again, the holographic on the back. You might not be seeing it. I'm hoping it's coming up on the camera, but it is crazy. Oh, there you go. I can see it now. Awesome. And again, little vignettes. These washi tapes, ped tapes, are freaking amazing. There's so many little things, like I had upteen things I could have put in there. And so yeah, go get, jump on that 20% uh, off. It is on still with my discount code of um, all capital hashtags Friday. Gorgeous. And I apologize, this video should have been out yesterday, but this didn't cure for me in time. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to take my burring tool, which was right here, there you go, it was top heavy, fell over. So I'm gonna take my burring tool and just run it along the edge because there's a little bit of a lip. And this is how easy this is, guys. Easy, easy. And it gets rid of all of this nonsense that's stuck on here. Here, let me move these. Gets rid of all that lip, because there is a, a lip there. Because I didn't have enough, I didn't fill it all the way. And I know people are going to go, you should be cutting away from yourself. But you know what? I personally get more of a controlled when I cut towards myself. Safety first though. A little bit of more of a ridge there. And that's why I thought <clears throat> maybe I would come in and do just this top part here. And it's just on the top. Perfect. There's something right there. Let me just get that little piece off. Perfect. Awesomeness. I'm just going to brush that out of the way. <clears throat> and then I have my... This one is... Okay, gold and silver. These are from um, Let's Resin. These are the chrome pens. And oh, I should be careful. <gasps> no, 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 no. I shook it and it went all over, which is good that it, it will come off. <laughs> but I'm gonna get that off right now before it dries on there. Perfect, okay. And it's all over the mold. <laughs> Too funny, my friends. All right. <clears throat> so I thought maybe we would do the edge. I'm 
try not to go on the back because if you put anything on, even if you put a top coat on that holographic, it will not show up. And then I'm going to set it down and I'm going to come across the top just a little. Give this a shake. Bring it down so that it works better. There we go. Perfect. So the edge is all done. And now what I like to do is set it down <clears throat> and hold my hand here. And I'm just going to put the tip halfway and it will come on to the, the front side. There we go, and let's get the rest of the, the hanger and around the center part of the hanger. And there we go. I might not do them to all, but we'll do one silver, one gold. <clears throat> and that's got a, a gold again on it. <clears throat> oh my, my. Why does that not want to come off? <laughs> there, with persistence. Okay, so that one's there. And I'm gonna do the same with this, the burring tool, all the way around the edge. There we go. Easy peasy. And let me get that off here. And then this one is silver. <clears throat> Just want to get it going. And all I'm doing is pressing down on the tip. All right, I hope I don't ruin these because these ones are pretty cute. So I'm just gonna, oh my goodness, what is with the gold? Not on the back because it that is so funny well not funny but all right we'll try this again I'm gonna do on the side You can see the silver better because of the white. I can see where it's going as opposed to the gold. I had a hard time seeing. There we go. All 
the nooks and cranny. This actually looks like welding. Um, there we go. And now I'm going to set it down. And we're going to do the front. Just to finish it off. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to get a glare. Because this kind of marker, once you go over it, sometimes it, they take it off. It takes itself off. So it's hard to see from my angle, whether it's on there or not. And I'm gonna do the center. Oh my goodness, that just finishes that off compared to that, right? <sighs> that looks like, um, yeah, that looks like welding. <laughs> Pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I've got ribbon I'm going to, let's just, and it dries pretty instantly. So I'm going to put my ribbon through the hole. I'll do it this way this time instead of wasting ribbon. And I've got my scissors. I'm just going to cut it. <clears throat> I'm just going to tie a fancy, dancy little knot. Not so fancy, but. There you go. Make sure you get everything. And that knot. And I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna leave that hanging just like that. Maybe snip a little bit of it off. And there we go. Hopefully the silver's dry as well. And the silver, I don't have this kind, but I have, <clears throat> I think this ribbon would be cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this ribbon was from Michael's, the gold. Woo! Oh my goodness. And the other ribbon as, as well from Michael's. So let's put this in here. I gotta be careful. It's still a little wet. I have the patience of a two year old when it comes to wanting to get things done. Because I came down here <clears throat> later last night and I thought, oh, these are all good. I can unmold them, I can put the video up. And then I come over here and put my hand in all of them. So then I had to try and fix it. <laughs> Actually, it come all out. I was paranoid that it wasn't. There we go. That looks adorable. And then the holographic side. Oh, these are stunning. And then cut that off. So my son and his wife are, their tree is black, gold. The tree is white and all their decorations this year are black and go uh, gold, sorry, silver and black. So I thought maybe she might like these and be cute. So I'm going to carry on. I'm going to do the deburring like I did here. Put the pen around the side and then I'll be back and show you it all together. I'll be back in a sec, guys. I am back. We've got this all done. Oh my goodness is all I have to say. Look at that. Just... A little bit of sparkle and then we've got the holographic on the back it is adorable and again I'm so glad I went in we just move my light a little bit in with that little bits of glitter in both like that just gives it just that little extra something something love them 
Love them. And let's get some of that holographic going on there. Like, look at that. So one side will be holographic and the other side will be gorgeously decorated. Amazing. Amazing. So don't forget, go out there. Today's the last day for this. <clears throat> no, tomorrow, 26th. So go out there, use my discount code that I have. Use my link in the description box. And the discount code is all capital letters, hashtag Friday. So go in there and you will receive 20% off all of their washi tapes, not just the ones I received. And I am a lucky girl because I have a few. And these are all gorgeous. Please go check them out. It, you will not be disappointed. And I love these Christmas ones. I may have to go buy some more Christmas ones because they have a, a couple other ones as well, not just the ones I have. But yeah, so with that being said, my amazing people, hope you have a wonderful day. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a share. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. And everything I used here today will be linked in the description box, again, along with all my discount codes. So with that, I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.